look like, okay? So the main thing is, I could just kind of rewrite this equation here as y equals the square root of 4 minus x squared, because we want to see exactly what exactly what is this graph um, producing. Why did I lose all my markers? Seriously? So if we were to square both sides, We'd have y squared uh, equals 4 minus x squared. You can get them onto the same side. We have y squared plus x squared equals 4. Now, hopefully in your pre-calculus section, you guys remember conic sections. This would be, or even in geometry, you also studied the uh, formula for a circle. So therefore, you guys should be able to identify that this is going to represent a formula for a circle where the center is going to be at 0, 0, and the radius is going to equal Two, um, just a little FYI: x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. That was the formula for the circle, if you guys kind of remember that, right? Okay. So what's really important about this is we have a circle at zero zero with a radius of two. Right. But this equation is not dealing with this whole circle. It's only dealing with the positive form. Do you guys see that? It's only dealing with the positive form. So above would be the positive and be the negative. So this is going to be what we call a semicircle. All right. And then again, we are evaluating from negative 2 to 2. So we're going from negative 2 to 2. And that's what we want to be able to figure out the area. So if we know the area of a circle is pi r squared, we're only doing half of a circle. We know that r is going to be 2. 4, four times 1 half is going to be 2 pi. Area equals 2 pi. Got it? Questions? Good? Yes? No? So that was the one that was on your homework. It was just exactly.